<laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed that little cheesy intro. I actually got some feedback from a subscriber saying, Hey Muffin, cut out all the boring parts. And I was thinking that the whole thing was way fun. And I was thinking, wow, you guys don't like all my random commentary? Just kind of through all those uh, long parts when maybe we're just driving around and looking for enemies? So try to make it a little bit more interesting. Um, I am doing a little bit more editing. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to just try to cut a little bit closer maybe to the battle scenes of what's happening because I get it. That whole beginning intro part when you're driving in forever seems to be a bit long and Muffin tries to spice it up a little bit with some, uh, some random Muffin commentary thoughts but we'll try to do a mix of both here. So the KV-85, this thing, I had a subscriber that told me I didn't even know this is what it was called or given the nickname in War Thunder, but apparently this team has the reputation of being the Walmart of IS. <laughs> I just couldn't help but laugh when I had first heard that because it just makes this thing just sound so cheap. And I wish I actually, now um, that I think about it, I should have gone in and put a little smiley face uh, Walmart logo either on the side of it or somewhere around it. Heck, I mean, it would have been funny if... Oh, are we seeing? There we go. It would have been funny if we would have, uh, you know, if I could Im insert or, or find, like, the Walmart logo and put it on the side of that. Um, you'll have to let me know if that's kind of a general thing that most people know. Let's please don't shoot me. Yeah, those jumbos. Sometimes I've just gotten to the point where I'm like, yeah, I'm not going to really deal with you. But is the Walmart IS really known as the KV-85 or is that just something this subscriber said? You guys will have to let me know. But that is just too funny. That This poor KV-85 being given this that nickname is just terrible. I don't think I would ever... I mean, Walmart... It definitely has its reputation <laughs> but as a tank that that's not where you want to be okay we've got a pretty good push up here from the teammates now this is literally my first game with this thing I actually didn't even have it in the tech tree I decided to oh I think I just saw someone okay let's make sure that uh, we're clear over on the sides Okay, so not quite. Is he going to peek out? Uh-oh. Getting some bombs dropping around us. All right, that guy's dead. Okay, let's just fly around. Uh-oh. I just saw a shell come over from the right side. Where was that? That makes me a little nervous. And uh, my teammate over there isn't quite pushed up enough. And I don't want to get shot over on the side. But, um, yeah, so I just threw a couple of bucks, decided to get this, and I must say, wow, tanks in War Thunder are way cheaper than Wargaming's uh, World of Tanks or World of Tanks Blitz. I mean, the amount of money that I put in to actually get this thing, I went through, spent $16, got two tanks, the one before it and this one, which blew my mind, and in... For Wargaming, that would have maybe bought me like a module or like a like a, a camo or something. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and push forward here. Oh! So he decided to shoot his dead friend. Okay, there he is. Now I get to do what I see every other War Thunder player do with these KV tanks where they're using their, their butt. Man, I've got a strong butt. KV knows how to flex. Ooh. Well, let's see. I think that was a red breach. Can we take him out before he goes behind the corner? Oh, so close to that axle. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, so close. We got a teammate kind of pushing up. I think he should be able to finish him off. This thing is actually kind of a beast. And honestly, I think that a lot of people when they first see this thing, 
I don't know, being that I was looking at the IES and the KV-85 right side by side, kind of, they look almost exactly the same with some slight differences. And so if you're not too familiar with the BR that you're in, okay, we're seeing some gunfire down this way. If you're not too familiar with the, the BR that you're in, you could probably easily assume, oh, here we go. Nice. You could easily assume that this is probably the IS. And so you're kind of protected by like assumption in a way. Did we get him? Oh, darn it. Yeah, that truck, I should have loaded my HE, but dang it, I never like know when to switch. I'm not used to switching my ammo like so quickly. And I, and I'm not, I don't, oh, okay. He's coming out again. Oh, there we go. I'm always, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to get used to this, but I'm not sure if I have to completely go through my reload all over again if I switch my ammo. Did my tank just all of a sudden get dirtier? I swear it seems like a lot darker or muddier. Oh. Oh, man. The mater of, of war vehicles is upon us. Yeah, that guy's, I don't think he's in the right BR. That thing is like reserve vehicle or BR one or something. Wow, this is a beast. This vehicle's like pretty good. Now, oh man, this thing's shell and just everything is so awesome. I don't see how this thing has maybe such a bad rap. This thing dominates. And it's got like excellent maneuverability. I feel like I can turn and traverse and kind of get out of sticky situations really quick. Now we're getting pretty close to the capture, or not capture, the uh, spawn area. And I don't want to go much further, but it looks like the game is actually just about done anyway, so. Well done, team. Well done, enemies. Oh. Can we get him? Maybe another kill just before? Ah, he's running away. He's like, ah, we lost this. Folda, here it is. Hey, was able to go back to the garage, got my tank all cleaned up. I didn't even notice that. I literally just noticed that how my tank just, I guess it ends up getting dirtier as the battle goes on. That's actually pretty cool. So, yeah, this thing is such a beast. And I'm not sure exactly what all the differences are between the IS and this KV-85. Just at a quick glance, it looked like it was the same cannon and same looks, everything. It just, I know the IS had more armor, but I'm not sure. Because it has more armor, it very well could be slower. But I actually like these faster tanks. Okay, I'm not exactly sure where this route kind of leads. I'm guessing everyone's going to be pushing over there through A, and this does not look like a pathway here. Or is there one behind this rock? Looks like I've got a friend pushing in through the middle. For a heavy tank, this thing is impressively fast. I'm so far just loving this thing. Shame on you all for giving this thing such a bad rap, the Walmart of IS. <laughs> that is just so ridiculous in my opinion. Okay. Now they're probably a, making a push here over on the side. I don't even know if I have the gun depression to get anyone. I may have to kind of teeter tot on the edge here. Yeah, I was afraid I was going to have to do that. Okay, let's try and not slide all the way down. 
Excellent. Now, is that a tank? Or is that one of those decorative tanks? I don't see him moving. It must be one of those decorative tanks. I've kind of taken shots at those things a few times thinking it was a real one. This map throws me off sometime. Now, I haven't gone the castle route too much, so this is a little new for me. Oh, I just saw a shot from over here. And we spotted him. Let's see, I'm just gonna guess here. I'm not sure exact, eh, just a tiny bit higher. And can we get it to go through? Uh, just a little, oh, not quite. He looks like he may be using that hill to get that additional angled armor. Where did he go? Oh, did he just take a shot at me or was that somebody else? Oh, look at this. We got the troops rolling in. Here we go, line up. First one. Okay, shoot, this guy does, definitely knows his friend just got taken out. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, no, no, no. Holy cow, that was close. Whew. Man, I didn't know if I was gonna get reloaded in time. Started to break a little bit of a sweat there. Well, this seems like a fairly good, effective little spot here. Oh, man. Okay, don't have that ga gra ugh, gun depression, so we're gonna have to teeter here again. All right, I am now marked on the map for sure. The hated KV-85 has been spotted. Now, I can't remember, I know this is gonna sound really sad to any of my Blitz fans still hanging around while I uh, go into the journey of War Thunder, but I seriously cannot for the life of me remember, and I know you guys are gonna be disappointed in me, I can't remember if the KV-5 was in World of Tanks Blitz. I know there was the KV-13 as a specialty, oops. Uh oh. Now, am I gonna get shot here? Who's gonna win this? <laughs> oh, man, I feel like I got lucky there. Wow, I heard his shot, but I guess KV-5 wins. Or KV-85. That's a big difference. But I can't remember if the KV-85 was in World of Tanks uh, Blitz. There was like the IS with like a smaller 85 or 75 millimeter cannon or something, but... This cannon packs quite a punch. All the other standard cannons that came on the tanks, like, Wargaming makes them look so weak and puny. And then you all wanna fit your tank with this gun that was never even, oh! Uh-oh, where is he? Oh! We're getting marked by the planes. Let's turn our turret around. See, getting shot in the butt is what it's all about in this thing. Where is he? Holy cow. The entire enemy team is like raining down their rage. Let's see if we can just wiggle our turret here from this guy trying to... Okay, I thought I had saw someone. I think that's like a Wolverine or something. Okay, let's hope that he doesn't get through anything. As long as I can get repaired in time, can we? No. He's smart. I'm hoping we can just back up once we get fixed and then I can hopefully get a shot off. That is like one of the biggest downfalls with the Russian tanks I've kind of run into is no gun depression. Here it is, your time has come. Face my shell. Oh, man. Holy cow. I don't know if we're going to survive much longer, guys. I have... Is that my... A friend in the plane, help me! Oh, I see another guy coming around the corner here. Oh, 
some machine gun fire on the other side. Okay, let's turn our turret around. Let's see if we can actually get uh, maybe up. To oh, shoot! No, no, angle. Oh, oh, no. Back up, back up. Use that speed. Let's see if we can get out of here. Oh, my turret ring's damaged. Can we turn around and maybe... No! Run! Get back to my friends. Oh! Yeah, this is where I think it ends, boys. Will the... Nope. <laughs> the, the, is that bucket part of the tank? Or was is that like an attachment or something I had randomly put on? I just noticed that there was a bucket attached to the back of this. To catch maybe the little exhaust strips or something. Even though that doesn't make any sense. Muffin, you idiot. The exhaust is on the top of the tank. Okay. Let's keep our ears peeled. Which that doesn't make sense. <laughs> Maybe I should just play and be quiet. It's eyes peeled. Attention to the map. Ears open. Don't really see anyone over here. Oh, there is. Okay. Angle, wiggle, wiggle. Oh. Sorry, front crew members. Oh, and I see another one there. Can we get him? Oh, man, if that was just like, just inches lower, that could have hit that weak spot. Okay, let's back up and try to go around this left side. I think maybe we can come up from the side of him and... Uh, uh, is there someone? No, I think that's my teammate. I'm hearing something over the left-hand side and don't want to get taken out. Okay, I'm not seeing him. I'm going to say we should be able to come up behind and surprise him. Where is he? Ah, there you are. Okay, turn the turret around. I wonder if he has any idea. <laughs> oh, man. He probably had, like, no idea. Okay, this is always a lovely place to be. Oh. Just saw one of those guys. Now, I'm wondering if he'll push all the way up on the left and then push through this opening and I should see if I can maybe get a side shot on him. We're controlling most of the zones. I can still hear him moving, but is he going to keep going or? Oh, well, you know what? Let's go for you. Ooh. He's not having a good day. When you're going in with a logo like destruction, you want to be the one creating the destruction. That's <laughs> not being the one to be destroyed. Sorry, guy, but it has to be done. He's like, let me repair in peace. It can't be done. Oh, this is just... I love coming up behind like just a bunch of enemies and just knocking like a bunch of them out. That guy looked like he probably knew he was in trouble after his friend got taken out and trying to turn his cannon around. Looked like some something or someone was marked on the map. This is where we're getting a little close to their spawn. Let's see if we can go comb on through here and come up behind anybody else. On me. Ooh, man. The intensity. 
Have you guys learned that uh, when you end up trying to be more careful, you end up doing worse? I always kind of find that to be the, the case when I play this game. When I'm more careful, I do worse. But when I just, like, don't give a rats and I just kind of keep moving and driving around, I seem to do so much better. And I seem to be able to keep myself awake longer, too. I think I'm hearing... Well, that'll just basically be looking right into their spawn. Okay. I, I thought I heard something. Let's see if we can go find him. What is it? Oh, there he is. T-14. Don't want to be facing that frontally. That thing's a beast. I haven't played it yet, but from what I've seen, that thing's got some pretty good armor. Attention to the map. Okay. Well, we might have kind of cleared out this whole area over here. Attention the enemy the may just be clear. suppressed down over to their their spawn, it looks like, for the most part. Let's see if we can maybe let some of these guys come out of here and then... and then maybe stalk them into the town like a creeper. And then take them out. We let them get their hopes high and then we let it go down again. That guy may be behind that fence right there, but... He may just be like right in spawn. Oh, I just saw something. It looked like a panther. I don't think my team is gonna give these guys any mercy whatsoever. They're starting to fall apart. What is that mural next to me? Where'd the panther go? Are we going to see maybe anyone push through on the sides? I feel like I feel like once the once a team kind of gets to the point of being able to get up or pretty close to a teammate spawn, it's pretty hard to gain traction and ground again and be able to get that like position of victory back. Being kind of pushed up and cornered into your spawn is like the worst. And then trying to like push through where you know the entire enemy team is just like looking at where you're at is just the worst. You know what, that might have been that panther. Okay, can we get one more kill? That's all I want. If we can get one more kill, I would say this is a success, a victory. If we don't get a kill, then I'm just going to say I lost in the team one. Come on. Even though I know it'll say, oh, oh no. Okay, can we get him, guys? Can we get him just before the game goes? Come on, get the gun down. Yes! Crew knocked out. Oh, but it didn't give me the actual kill. Darn. Well, I'd have to say, this thing was a lot of fun to play. KV85, everyone. This is the Muffin here. You guys stay cool and keep tanking.